Hello YouTube, it's DJ Zell Gage Trains. What I have here used to be the Lionel Legacy Akron Canton and Youngstown H16-44. This is now a South Brooklyn Railway H16-44. So the colors were perfect to uh, repaint this as a South Brooklyn Railway engine and so I went ahead and did that. Growing up on Long Island and making frequent trips into the city, I thought it would be really cool to have an engine uh, for the South Brooklyn Railway that could transport subway cars and uh, little freight trains around South Brooklyn like they did back in the day and still do. So it's really awesome. I'm really happy with how it came out. And uh, I have the engine here weathered and customized. And then I also have this gondola here, this Long Island Railroad gondola that I uh, weathered and did a little bit of work on. They would use these gondolas to be able to pull subway cars from yard to yard. One end of the gondola had a standard coupler to hook up to the engine, and then the other end of the gondola would have a subway coupler. So, of course, in model railroading, it's just two regular lobster claw couplers. But um, eventually it would be nice to have a KD up here and then keep the lobster claw on the back end of the car and use it for uh, that purpose. And as you can see, I've done the decking there. Looks very nice. And we'll take a good look at the sides here. And you can see the weathering. And here's the top view of the gondola covers. And here's the subway car. This subway car is on its way to Coney Island Yards and Shops to get an overhaul and be painted in the Redbird paint scheme. A few of these R12 subway cars did make it to the Redbird scheme, but they were not in service very long after that. So, um, but there you go. Really run down, really old, and uh, really, really graffitied. So like I said before, these engines were used to transport subway cars between yards and uh, one area where you could see a lot of photographs of these engines at work is underneath the McDonald Avenue subway line in Brooklyn, which is the F train. And uh, these engines would run from the 36th Street yards uh, down underneath the Culver shuttle and then over to McDonald Avenue, which is the F train and then down to the Avenue X entrance of the Coney Island Yards and Shops. Since then, the uh, road has been paved over and the uh, street running tracks are no longer there. They're paved over. But uh, back in the day, they used to share trackage with the Brooklyn trolleys. And um, there were a couple of freight spurs as well. You can see in the pictures a Pacific Fruit Express reefer being delivered, which is great because I could use this with my PFE Vision Line reefers that I have. So that's really cool. And um, so what I'll do now is I'll give you a close-up of the weathering of the engine. There you go. And let's do a little pan of the trucks in the underside here, let you see that. And the last thing before we turn the engine on is the uh, weathering tools. So there you go. Flat black, flat brown, and sand color, and then a little bottle of rust. But that's it. And that's how I did it. With uh, spraying techniques and some brush techniques, it came out really good, really old, and really dirty. Just like uh, basically from the 1980s. Just a really run down time for New York City transit and uh, just New York City in general. So that's it. Stick around to see it run.